don't go. Girls! But the good people of Limerick clearly didn't think my festival was as good an idea as I did. When you come to our Limerick competition tonight, you won't. They don't want some grinning, red-faced, smarmy Englishman coming and saying, hello, come to my Limerick competition. Yeah. On the other hand, I think it's a splendid idea, and I'd like to air a few of my own compositions. But with Rory in the chair, there's no way I get a hearing by fair means, so it'll have to be foul. We've got to get ourselves in a state where he won't notice when somebody turns up looking a bit odd. Luckily, Limerick boasts several theatres and a proper makeup artist to go with them, Miriam. Hello there, Rory. Do you think he'd see... He, do you think he'd smell a rat? Miriam even arrives with her own fat suit. I think we might need to just stitch this up or pin it up at the back. What's Limerick famous for? Rugby. Rugby. OK, what else is Limerick famous for? Having good nights out and having fun. OK, I'll give you one more try. It's a third attempt. What is Limerick famous for? Limerick... Oh, for Limerick. Ah! Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know any limericks? No, I don't actually, cool. no. No, not a poet at all. Yeah, I bet you are. No, not at all. Gotta go. Are you sure? Hey, to hey, hey, tonight, 6.30. I'll see you there. Thank you. Come as you are. There once was a fella called McGrath who wanted a point and a laugh. In a fit of the giggles, he split down the middles and he had to make do with a half. Bum, bum. I can hear that in another room, you doing your cod <laughs> Irish accent. The beard, you're not doing... What? Oh, what do you think? Yes! I like that! It's just so obviously you. Well, wait a minute. What looks like that? It looks nothing like not you. It looks like you <laughs> in a tash. I don't believe it! I've travelled the entire world and I bump into my old mate, Stephen Fry. Stephen, we're having a limerick competition tonight and... Stephen? Stephen? A grumpy old git named Rhys Jones was nothing but whinges and moans. Though not very funny, he made shit loads of money, <laughs> yet he groans and he groans and he groans. That is so true. What's Limerick most famous for? Um, <laughs> feuds and drugs. What? Feuds and drugs? No, oh, not feuds and drugs. There was a young man from <laughs> Cork who had an enormous... <laughs> there was a young man from Nantucket. Now, if you come back at 6.30, I'll tell you the rest of that limerick. How about that? Mm-hmm. This is going to work. It just, just isn't going to work. Oh, well, that'd be a pity. <laughs> <laughs> I leave Griff to his ridiculous disguise and head to get a taste of the official poetry festival at the White House. I'm Marty Mulligan from Mullingar. From Mullingar in the middle of Ireland. Desireland. In Spireland. I can confirm there was nothing as tawdry as a limerick. And the little dog laughed to see such fun as the dish ran away with the hot spoon. Instead I'm treated to a proper evening of literary talent. Ignore me at your peril. Entertain me at the risk of losing your life. Oh, the Harlequin was dancing when they bet the ace of spades against the King of Hearts. But you don't want to see this, do you? No, you want to see this. Around the corner, at the Tom Collins pub, Rory's renegade Limerick Limerick competition had also pulled a huge crowd. Welcome to the Tom Collins pub, the best pub in Ireland. <laughs> that my Guinness is assured now. Thank you. Is that it? Lovely. Thank you very much indeed. This is the uh, special event. It's the first ever. Three Men in a Boat Independent Limerick Limerick Competition. It is also the last ever Three Men in a Boat Independent Limerick Limerick Competition. Yes, I've got a false beard and a dirty limerick, and I arrive just as the competition starts. Will I fool Rory? So good luck, everybody, and can we have limerick number one? <laughs> In Limerick where once they did stay, three men shared a boat for the day. The sun it did shine, the River Shannon sublime, Irish sun burns the price they did pay. Yeah, there was an old man from Dingle, spent many a long year single. He looked near and far, many a bar. Now, 
He's an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Good. One of my favourite limericks, which, de which deliberately deviates from the form, which is quite a nice one, is um, there was a young bard from Japan whose limericks just wouldn't scan. I can manage the lines and the number of rhymes, it's just I try and cram as many words in the last line as I possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> or there was a young man called Wyatt whose voice was incredibly quiet, and then one day it faded away and... That was... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, number 11, where are you? There was a lass a few miles from Kilkey who chatted up every man she could see. But when it came to a test, she was reckoned the best, cos practice makes perfect, you'll see. <laughs> That's wonderful. Uh, nice to have an autobiographical uh, limerick. <laughs> <laughs> number 14. Even in a pub full of fat, hairy men, I look utterly improbable. But luckily, not as improbable as Rory. A TV producer of note was convinced he could get crap to float. <laughs> Jones, McGrath and O'Brien polluted the stream and they called it Three Men in a Boat. <laughs> we have a winner! <laughs> oh, he's in? <laughs> I'd like to know. I'd like to know who that was with that strange Jamaican accent. <laughs> it was the accent that gave Griff away, and he was immediately disqualified. Dad, well, I certainly fooled some of the people, if not all of the time. I said to Billy, I said, "Is that that guy that drives the bus around Limerick?" I said, "You know, with the grey hair and the side locks, it's kind of hard." And he said to me, I don't know, I think it might be that guy. I thought, I thought he drove a boat, but instead he drives a bus. <laughs> so I went and definitely thought it was him. He looked remarkably convincing as an Irishman, you know, with his big... I knew Griff, you know, when he, when he actually was that shape, but I thought he looked very good, very, very Irish indeed. He looked like the Lord Mayor of Limerick. Hopeless. It was hopeless, even as I stood there. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. <laughs> I stood over there, and the... Uh, I think I said, I don't know, I recognise you from somewhere. Are you the, uh, oh, you're last of the summer wine. <laughs> the following morning, it was time to face into the final leg of our journey. It would be wrong to come this far west and not to take that final leap out into the Atlantic to the Aran Islands. The islands have preserved their culture partly due to their remoteness and the only problem we have is how to get there. For generations, the journey was made rowing in a curragh. Curraghs are traditional fishing boats made from a tarry canvas stretched over a frame. This makes them really lightweight so you can carry them to and from the beach. But puncture the skin by stepping in the wrong place and you'll sink like a stone. Any tips on getting in? Yes, don't uh, stand at the side, kind of stand in the middle, stand in the middle, middle. Oh. And, and be light-footed. <laughs> <laughs> and stay low. Uh, Pretend you're a feather. Yeah, and you watch my impression of a feather. <laughs> to get some instruction, we've arranged to meet up with local rowers, Anne, Elise and Leah, who are actually the women's champions of Ireland. The basic rowing skills would be... Um, we haven't even got basic rowing skills. When the oars are out of the water, you lean forward... We are, by now, used to people thinking we're clueless and teaching us the absolute basics. Pull back, bringing the oars into the water. Pull back. Push and then the footstep. Pu yeah, pushing off the footstep. And then forward again, oars out of the water. And then pull back. Doesn't she realise that these three men have rowed the Thames together? Look, look. Yeah, okay, I'm leaning. What, yeah. what are you doing? Something. Come on. Dip in. Dip and it. pull. Yeah. Okay. Now keep now going. Raise. Lean and forward. Lean forward. You haven't leaned forward. Look at my yeah. oars. Lean forward. <laughs> yeah. And pull. Okay. You think you were born in Connemara or something? You That's it. Any more than we have. Your total curve racing experience is as much as ours. I've rowed more than you two. Yes. And it shows every time we get on the boat. Now pick up the pace. Now right, 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 